Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and today we are talking free PlayStation games. Well, free if you have PlayStation Plus, so by definition it's not free because you have to pay for PlayStation Plus, but you know what I mean. If you have PlayStation Plus, you get some free games each month, and this month you have some action-packed titles. They go live on December the 7th, so that is next week, but we thought we'd break them down today so you know what is on the horizon, what you have to look forward to, what you have to play over the festive period, basically. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below which of these games you are going to be checking out. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the content, because we've got plenty more stuff coming your way. Plus, much like last month, there are also some bonus VR titles in here too. First game on the list is Godfall the Challenger Edition specifically. Now I know when Godfall came out it of course didn't necessarily tick all the boxes, however the fact that of course if you have PlayStation Plus you can jump in for free, then you might as well give it a spin. This of course is, if you haven't played it, a looter slasher, melee based combat, looting elements, basically work your way through bright vibrant environments and uh, lay waste to enemies. However the Challenger Edition focuses on uh, three unique models, Lightbringer, Dreamstones and the Ascended Tower of Trials. All of these are described as end game level content but interestingly in the challenger edition you will be immediately equipped with a spread of deadly weapons and skill points basically putting you end game ready so you can dive straight into this stuff either solo or with your friends and uh, test out some of the end game content so maybe if you guys haven't had a chance to try godfall maybe when it first came out you were kind of on the fence not really necessarily sure if you want to try it out then maybe this might be a chance to jump in and see what it has to offer Following on from there, we then have LEGO DC Supervillains. Basically, if you like LEGO games, if you like DC, then this is one for you. In this game, you create and play as an all new supervillain throughout the game, unleashing, of course, mischievous antics, wreaking havoc in an action packed story. It's set in an open world experience within the DC universe. The Justice League have disappeared, leaving Earth's protection to their counterparts, who have proclaimed themselves as the Justice Syndicate. So it's up to you, a crazy group of misfits, to uncover the intentions of Earth's new strange wannabe superhero. Of course, the game will see you alongside characters like the Joker, Harley Quinn, countless others from the Injustice League. So basically, an epic DC adventure. Then moving on from there, for those of you guys that are maybe waiting for Elden Ring and want your Soulsborne fix, Mortal Shell. Mortal Shell is another Soulsborne style game. It's a ruthless, deep, single player action RPG that tests your sanity and resilience in a shattered world. As the remains of humanity wither and rot, zealous foes fester in the ruins. They spare no mercy with survival demanding superior awareness, precision and instincts. Track down hidden sanctums of devout followers and discover your true purpose. Mortal Shell of course is quite interesting because it works around this concept of having like a different shell for your body and the different shells will of course give you different gameplay abilities but basically if you like your Soulsborns, you like that kind of gameplay loop punishing difficulty gonna die lots of times then mortal shell is definitely one to check out and again a good way to fill the void if you're waiting for elden ring so those are your three main titles available from December the 7th up until January the 3rd. However, if you guys are VR players, you have PlayStation VR, then you have three additional games. You have The Persistence, which uh, challenges you to survive aboard a doomed deep space colony starship in the year 2521. Stranded, malfunctioning and caught in the inexplorable pull of a black hole, The Persistence is overrun with a crew mutated into horrific and murderous aberrations. Basically, not my kind of scene, let's be honest, but of course it's down to you to uh, survive, make your way through, gather resources, upgrade abilities, fabricate an arsenal of weapons, and uh, basically survive in this brutal sci-fi horror roguelike. The fact that it's a roguelike is interesting, but your boy doesn't like horror, especially not in VR, so uh, no thank you, not me. Then of course on top of that you have The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. This one of course allows you to face all the horrors that the living and the dead can offer in the new VR adventure in The Walking Dead series. You travel through the ruins of the walker infested New Orleans as you fight, sneak and scavenge and survive each day unraveling a city wide mystery within the iconic quarters. You encounter desperate factions, lone survivors, all of whom could be friends or foe and whether you decide to help them or take what you want by force is entirely up to you. So what kind of survivor will you be? And then finally, you have Until You Fall. This is a fantasy and synthwave collision, basically. They collide in a physically active PSVR sword fighting game, which is kind of cool from like a fitness point of view. If you want to be active and you don't want to go to the gym, maybe consider doing this, swinging some swords around. You grow stronger as you battle through the awesome kind of neon environment, and strike down magic fused monster sites in another hack and slash roguelite. I swear, right? These companies just throw the word roguelite in and they're like, hey, 
Arax is going to play our game. But anyway, that aside, you move your arms and your body to the Synthwave soundtrack as you attack, block and cast spells and dodge your way into the heart of the Neon Fantasy world, filled with, of course, these magic-infused monsters. So, there you have it. Those are your VR titles. Check them out this month if you want some fun. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. That is your PlayStation Free Games Recap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to keep it locked if you want more. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch more from us, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads. And if you want somewhere to hang out, play games, or chat all things from games to anime, food to fitness, consider joining the Arax Gaming Discord.